What if you want to do a screen recording on your Mac and also record the microphone audio and the internal audio of your Mac? How do you do that? My name's Dave and I've got a quick tip for you today. Now previously on the channel I did do a how-to for screen recording using the microphone for the audio. And just as a quick reminder, if you haven't seen that video, we use our keyboard shortcut, Command Shift 5. And that brings up our screen recording options here. On the left hand side we've got options for capturing uh, screenshots, so images, and we can choose the entire screen, a window, or a selected portion of the screen. And then we've got our options for screen recording where we can record the entire screen or again a selected portion of the screen. So then if we click on options you'll see that there's a section called microphone. Now by default this is set to none so you won't get any audio with your screen recording uh, but you can then choose to use the iMac microphone or you might have your iPhone connected and you can use that microphone as well. Great, that's nice and easy. If we're happy with that we just click on record and that starts a screen recording. And then at the top of the screen you'll see we have this stop icon in the menu bar click on that to stop the recording and on the bottom right of the display you'll see a preview image of what we've just recorded. Give it a few seconds and it'll save it to your desktop. So that's the principle for screen recording. Now if we want to record the internal audio as well as the microphone we need to have some way to loop back the sounds that the computer makes back in so that we can record it. Now you could do this with various hardware devices but you can also do it with a third-party software tool so let me show you that. And the tool we're going to use for this is something called Black Hole by Existential Audio. Uh, we'll put a link to their website in the description. So if you come here you'll find uh, there's a number of apps that they make but Black Hole is here at the top, just click on that. And you'll notice that this is donationware so they're asking for $10 although you can also choose the I can't afford to donate button if you want to try it out. I though love this software so I am going to donate. Okay, so now Black Hole is installed, but there isn't an app that's been installed on your system. What you need to just do is go up to the system settings. I'm using the latest version of Mac OS here. If you're using an older version, your settings might look slightly different, but uh, they work in pretty much the same way. So I'm gonna go to the sound section here, and you notice in the output section, I now have something called Black Hole 2 Channel. Now, what is Black Hole? Well, it is a virtual loopback driver, so it just takes the system output and loops it back in so that you can record it. But we need to do something else here because if all we did was use Black Hole in its current format, you won't be able to hear the sounds on your computer whilst you're recording them, and we won't be able to combine the internal audio with the microphone of the system. So we need to go a step further here, and we do this by going into the audio and MIDI settings on our computer. And you don't find that in the system settings, rather confusingly, you'll find it in your utilities folder. There's two ways to get to your utilities folder. So one way is to open your finder window, go to applications on the left hand side, in here down the bottom, a folder called utilities. And inside there is the audio MIDI setup. There is a much quicker way to do this. Let's just close that finder window. If you're on your desktop finder, so just click on your desktop and you see in the top left of the screen it says finder. Now there's a keyboard shortcut we can use, command shift U. And that's gonna immediately open your utilities folder. Then double click on audio MIDI setup. And here we can now set up some virtual devices to get around the problem that we just mentioned. So if you go down to the plus icon at the bottom, we're going to create, first of all, a multi output device. So just Click on that, notice that Black Hole 2 channel is already selected for me. I'm then gonna select the iMac speakers. And you'll notice that this drift correction box is already ticked. Sample rate is 48 kilohertz, that's absolutely fine. We'll leave that as it is. If you want to, you can double click over here and rename this. So let's call this our Black Hole output device. So what we've done is just created a virtual device that is gonna send the system audio both to the iMac speakers and to the black hole itself. Now we need to create one more virtual device. This one's gonna be an aggregate device. Now here we're going to select again, black hole two channel and then the iMac microphone. And again, you'll notice that drift correction gets switched on. We can rename this, so let's call this uh, black hole input device. There we go. So now we've created those virtual interfaces, we're going to be able to do what we want to do. 
So we just need to go into our sound settings and under output, let's make sure black hole output device is selected. Remember that keyboard shortcut, Command, Shift and 5. So if we go to the options now, you'll see that we have black hole input device. That's the aggregate device that we just created. And if we select that, we'll be able to record the internal audio and the iMac microphone. Of course, if all you want is the iMac microphone, you can select that. And if all you want is the internal audio, just select the black hole two channel there. But we want both of them together. So let's choose black hole input device and let's start a recording. And now the iMac should be picking up my voice through its microphone and that should be getting recorded. And now let's just play some sounds here using the sound effects, choose a different one. There we go. All of that should be recorded as well. And we can stop the recording. And let's just check that it's worked. So click on the file. Let's press play to preview. And now the iMac should be picking up my voice through its microphone and that should be getting recorded. And now let's just play some sounds here using the sound effects, choose a different one. Okay, so you can see that that's working fine. So that's how you do a screen recording on your Mac and record the internal audio or the microphone, or both, with the help of Black Hole from Existential Audio. And if you found it useful, please consider making a donation to them. And please also consider supporting the channel. Uh, only costs you one click of the subscribe button. You might even want to ring the bell and maybe give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down if that's how you roll. We'll see you again soon for some more geekery.